In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an animated um, space-like signature uh, like this. So that's what it looks like when it animates. Um, so go ahead and open up a new image. And I'm making this 400, uh, 450 by 150 uh, because that's a nice signature size. But this doesn't necessarily have to be a signature. Um, it can be, you know, whatever you want. Now grab your blend tool and just click um, change your foreground color to this dark green. Uh, the HTML notation is 111B12. And then change your background color to this dark blue. Uh, the HTML notation is 03111B. And then just select OK. Make sure your gradient is on foreground to background. And then just click at the top and then press Control. Then click and drag all the way to the bottom. Then create a new layer just by pressing the new layer icon in your layers window or by going to layer, new layer. Now go to filters, uh, render, cloud, solid noise. And uh, for settings I'm putting in check randomize, detail 15, x size 7.6, y size 4. Uh, you can always adjust those however you'd like. Now you should get something like this, and just set the layer mode on to Dodge. Um, and to do that, just go under Mode <clears throat> in your Layers window and click the drop-down menu and select Dodge. Now I'm going to grab my Scale tool, and I'm just going to zoom out a little, and I'm going to click on the layer, and I'm just going to drag it directly up and down a little. A new layer and get your bucket fill tool. Make sure your foreground color is on black and fill that in. Then go to filters, noise, HSV noise, and your settings just pull all the bars up to the top. So holdness 8, hue 180, saturation 255, value 255. Then go to colors, desaturate, because um, you might not be able to tell but there are a few multicolored dots in there. Then go uh, over to your layers dialog and change the mode to screen and that just gets rid of all the black in the image. Now grab your uh, free select tool and uh, for fe check the feather edges box and I'm going to I turned up the radius to about 70 and what I'm, what I'm going to do is just randomly uh, randomly draw some lines um, and then connect the lines and you should get this selection and then press delete on your keyboard and then press select none and that just gets rid of uh, some of the stars or whatever um, now what you need to do is add your text so grab your text tool change the uh, color to white if you'd like um, that's the color I'm using and the font I'm using is called uh, Naro Pool po I, I don't know how to pronounce that um, if I can find um, this came default with my computer uh, if I can find something similar to it, I will leave a link in the description to where you can download that. So type in whatever you want. Now I'm going to uh, center my text, so grab your alignment tool, and then just click on the layer, and then press the align center of target, and then align middle of target button. Now you need to duplicate this layer, and go to layer, layer to image size. That just makes it so our layer boundaries are to the uh, are as large as the image. Now go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm going to blur by about 10. This depends on the size of your image. Now uh, you can go ahead and merge down the blurred text with the um, with the non-blurred text just by right-clicking on your blurred text layer and selecting merge down. Now hide this text layer by pressing the eye icon next to it and then go to Image, Merge, Visible Layers. Now you can unhide that text layer and just duplicate that text layer once and then duplicate the background layer once but move the duplicated background layer all the way to the top. So now it should look like the sandwich um, of your background layer. Um, you should have, so in order from the bottom up it should be your background layer, your text layer, your text layer, and then a background layer. Now go to Filters, Animation, Blend. Um, intermediate frames, you can enter whatever you'd like. That's just, um, the higher the number, the more layers you're going to have. 
Um, and then I just have the default settings right now. Then select OK. And you should uh, get a new image. And it should have many, uh, it should have lots of layers called frames now. Um, and to view what this looks like, go to Filters, Animation, Playback. And just pl uh, press the play button and you can see what it's going to look like. And that's how you do that. But now to save this image so that if you were to put it as your signature in a form or something um, and it animate itself, you need to go to File, Save As. And what you need to do is save it as a .gif file. So I'm going to save this in the... Um, so for name, just put in whatever you want. Then you have to put .gif and then press Save. And now it's going to uh, ask you if you want to merge visible layers or save as an animation. Uh, click Save as Animation and um, make sure this one is on Convert to Index using default settings. And then select Export. Um, then this should pop up. Uh, I'm just going to keep the default settings and then you can save. So that's how you, uh, you can create your nice animated signature.